Hi everyone and welcome to another part of Squires Lazy Refit. Um, 18 months coming in this episode you'll see us going in the water, doing our first sail, spending our first night at anchor and um, spending our first money and bringing us, putting ourselves in a marina. Um, we had a couple of little parts that we had to fix that we never thought of before we uh, sailed. Always every time you go to sea you forget to bring certain stuff with you and then um, our capster, uh, no it never, my uh, uh, winch. Uh, Winch. <laughs> we winch uh, broke and we had to go and get some spare parts. So um thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoy this video. A little bit longer than usual. Yeah. So we got up in the morning and we did the final preps ready to leave and we just waited for the tide to come in. So then the boat yard put us on the tractor and lift that they pulled us out of the water 18 months ago. to leave our friend Glyn and his dog Merv. He's given us so much help the last 18 months. This was a really exciting and nervous moment for us. It was time to see if all our hard work had paid off the last 18 months and we were just hoping that it didn't sink. I've jumped on board, went and checked all the sea fox, then we waited about half an hour and we checked them again and then after that we were free to set off. So we set off towards the bridge that you can see on the intro of our videos. told me a story that if you're going under the bridge and the train passes over you then whoever is at the helm has to buy everyone a beer no matter how many people there is on the boat. The bridge is used as a train line from Plymouth to Penzance.
all your systems a little bit different round here it's just red and green sticks that you've got to follow Happy that we can get six knots using three quarter revs on our little engine. And here we are passing Rob's old way for the Navy's powerboat school. Pass and Plymouth Royal William Yards, which used to be the old Navy base, but it's now been made into apartments and a lovely classy drinking area. And so what went the sales for the first time in many years on Squire's Lazy. sailing down the river for two or three hours and a short sail we decided to drop anchor for the night. What you doing? Since someone's even been watching too much family. So we got up early the next morning and went out for a sail and to sort out some teething problems.
one of our winches broke so we popped into the marina for the day so we could go get the spare part to fix it. We popped into one Chandler's and the spare park kit was £75 so we went round the corner to a little place called Marine Bazaar who sold us the par for £1.50. The marina we stayed in wasn't protected from the southerly waves so we had a bit of a bad night. We had to keep getting up through the night to check that the cleats were safe and that the boat was still tied to the pontoon. So we got up in the morning, we were pretty tired but we still got the boat ready and went out for a sail. So 
after another day sailing we were pretty tired and we decided to try another marina that is protected from the sea with a lock There was a firework display on that we could watch from where we were bit and we decided that this was to celebrate Squire's Lady being launched. There's the finale. <laughs> So because we've been sailing for six days, I decided to stay ashore this day and Rob's mate went out with them and they pushed the boat a little bit harder than Rob would have if I was on board. everyone and as always a massive thank you to our patrons we really appreciate it so thank you thank you uh, we're going to go sailing tomorrow uh, we're going to get the boat down to Falmouth the boat's currently um, hiding away uh, in Plymouth um, not much wind this weekend um, and there's not much swell either so it should be a, a, a nice nice journey from Falmouth to Plymouth which I think is about 70 miles right everybody see you next week thank you Ta -da. bye